Where we're going right now is the uh, maker shed, which uh, is the uh, retail outlet of uh, Maker Media. And uh, we're going to check out some of the electronics and kits and prototyping boards uh, that they have on offer. So I think we are going to start off over at the folks from Spikenzi. This is Spikenzi Labs. Hi there. How are you? I'm Mike Colombo from Make Magazine. Hi, Mike Colombo. What's your name? Mark. Mark, and you're you're with Spike Enzi? That's right. Yes. All right. Awesome. Um, yeah, I uh, I really I really dig your uh, I dig your kits. I've actually I've done a couple of them, and uh, uh, and one of them that I haven't done is is this. What's what's this? This kit is the drum kit. Uh, it comes as a, an Arduino compatible PCB with six piezos. So the electronics are included in the kit, and the part that you supply yourself is whatever you're going to make your drum pads out of. I recommend uh, mouse pads, chunks of metal. In this case, we got some foamy camping mat underneath to dampen it. But if you, I mean, if you really wanted to with the, with the piezos, I mean, you can you can break them out with wires and put them to anything that you want. Like you can make your own like real drum set out of it, right? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, absolutely, yeah, sure. We have um, we have people who send us videos every so often of the way they've done it, and one I particularly like is somebody who's taken some. Um, uh, tubing, and they've stuck in stuck IKEA plastic food containers onto it, and they've just glued the paizos inside that, and they made a, a drum kit. Yeah, that's great. And I mean, that's that's the cool thing about you know open source hardware is that is that you can you can take something and you can riff on it, and you can you can you know turn it into your own thing. I don't know. You, would you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah. So um, I'm I'm itching to try these out. Can I uh, can I give them a try? Sure. Uh, <laughs> Say that again. We've been waiting for you all day. <laughs> Thanks. I like to play. <laughs> so, um, awesome. What else do we have from Spike uh, Enzi? Really new. We have um, our telegraph kit. Basically, you type telegraph onto the key over here, and it decodes whatever letter you've just uh, keyed in. Oh, wow. That's really cool. You know, um, back, uh, back in New York, um, one of our editors, Matt Richardson, uh, was sort of inspired after Hurricane Sandy to get his ham operator's license. Um, and I know, and I know, to do that, you need to know a little Morse code. So, like, actually having something like this that you can practice on, I imagine, would be a, a good tool. Absolutely, yes, it's definitely a great tool for learning. When I was developing this uh, a couple of months ago, I knew Morse code really well. Oh really? Yeah, for sure. It's because uh, I kept trying different letters and combinations uh -huh. and things like that. Yeah. Um, it, it has a beeper in it, so you can turn the beeper on or off, so you don't have to disturb other people. If you don't want to hear the beeps, you can just see the dots and dashes. Here, here's a, a dot for you, and if it's a bit longer, it's a dash. I have it set sort of to easy mode now, so the kids can play when they when they come yeah, to the yeah. the, um, the table here. But it's, uh, it's based on an Arduino, so any of the settings in it are really easily changeable, and the code's on the website, so you can just download it and hack it and go away with it. That's awesome, yeah. I mean, what, one, of the, one of the cool stories about Morse code uh, was, that, I don't know if you know this, was that one of the, one of the really uh, key sources of intelligence in World War II was listening to the Germans send Morse code. Because all the Morse code operators have what you call a hand, which is like your particular style or your accent of how, so based on the signals that they were getting in the hand, they could know who, which Morse code operators were in which location and then sort of, you know, figure out strategically what the Germans were doing. Huh. Neat, right? Very neat. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know any Morse code, but I know SOS. So let's we have a big cheat sheet here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you can give your okay, so let's see if I can, if I can try to spell Mike. So, all right, let's see. <laughs> M, all right, good. Sort of slipped out of my hand, but that's okay. You have, you have, you know. Yeah. yeah. So. I, okay, and. 
K, and where's the E? I can't spell. There we go. Awesome. All right. Well, we have to I just. You're our best keyer of the day and also our best drummer of the day. <laughs> yeah, I win the prize. All right. Well, it was nice talking to you. Nice thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, have a good weekend.